time now to enjoy What's My Line? Mr. Dresden, this is my fault. I should have sent word to you to disguise your voice. They're getting so smart now, if you don't disguise the voice, you kn they know you didn't come well, from me, Hollywood. Let me, let me say this. I'm, uh, I'm very disappointed that Miss Kilgallen didn't know all about me because I think before she made her trip uh, over in Europe, she uh, had an article in her paper and it seemed that she knew more about managing the club than I did because... <laughs> I met her father out in Pittsburgh about two weeks before this article appeared in her column. And I think that, uh, that the, if I'm correct in saying that she mentioned that there was some trouble between a certain player and myself. There wasn't? Well, I don't, I don't remember it, but uh, I'm a fan anyway. The only <laughs> trouble I have is with the other players. But, <laughs> well, actually, we hope you don't have any trouble with the World Series. And thanks Thank very you. much for coming to see us. wait a minute. Fine, and thanks a lot. I've certainly enjoyed your picture, Young at Heart. More than that, we've enjoyed the honor of your first appearance on TV. Our uh, thanks for being our guest and for almost stumping those characters over there. John, I haven't made Young at Heart yet. Haven't I'm going you? to make You're it. You're going to make Young at Heart? With Frank Sinatra. Oh, well, uh -huh. wonderful. You don't need a broken down baritone, do you? We could use you. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> thanks for coming to see us. Would you say goodbye to the panel on the way out? Thank you. Nice to see you. One of your authors, and you couldn't get it. He doesn't talk that way around us. <laughs> I, I tell you. I made it for Mother's Day. <laughs> Mother's Day, what? My agent. <laughs> <laughs> Everything happens on television. It's wonderful. Since you got the Emmy, that's wonderful. It's a new <laughs> Second mystery guest, I guess. What? Just a moment, we, we have a small yeah. problem. Gail, would you get the relieving unit in? Well, uh, the reason that two, I no. came here is because I came here to talk about You'll talk about it. Yeah. Yes. No, actually, panel, so that you will not be confused, we've had a bad man and visitor who has now been removed from the stage and we can go on with what we were up to. Oh. Uh, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin with Miss Kilgallen. Could you in any way hurt yourself or anyone else with this product? hurt yourself or anyone else with this product? I can think of one way, but it's unlikely you're trying to use it, it that window? way. So we'll give you a no. Two down and eight to go, Mr. <laughs> Sir. That's seven down, three to go, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy? Oh, I beg your pardon, then. <laughs> <laughs> I was writing no movable parts at the start. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm down and I to go with his father. Oh, Hello there. I, I, I'm going in that direction. Say um, something, Jim. The people, the people come to you for this product. And now, a ravishing new addition to the Broadway scene, Miss Pamela Tiffin. on a panel with my husband just last week. <laughs> and on my left, a very charming gentleman who's just come up from the South and is about to go back to Fort Lauderdale and Miami uh, to lecture to professors. 
And on that happy note that there's nothing cheesy about us anyway, good night, Arlene Francis, and good nice night. to have you with us, Tony. Thank you. Good night, dear Tony. Have a good time in England. Thank you, sweet soul. Good night. Good night, dear. Come again. Good night, Bennett. I, I think I must announce that yogurt is not my favorite food. <laughs> good night, John. Oh. Now, there's a fact that will go down in history meaning absolutely nothing at all, and thank you for being with us on What's My Life. Mr. Rado, I didn't hear the town you came from, Missouri. Would you, would you tell us again where you are from? Near St. Louis, Bennett. That doesn't do much good at all. <laughs> That's all you're going to get, though. What's near St. Yeah. Louis? If, you, if we mention the name of the town, might there be some uh, connection that would lead us to guess at the product? We have reason to believe that some member of the panel might have an awareness of the specific character of a product which originates in a specific town by a specific name, and we have no intention of giving you any more information. Oh, may we Mr. Rada, no, please, okay. Dorothy, let All me right. do this by myself. <laughs> smoke one. Well, I want, to, I want to tell you that my big call for a conference was going to clue Bennett in that it might be Independence, Missouri, and I thought that our guest might have something to do with the Truman Library. How do you like that? Well, that was close. Well, you know, you're doing right? very well indeed. Mr. Otto, thank you for being our guest. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed your visit. Evansville, Indiana, the other day, a very observant lady at the old National Bank. Is this going to be a long me, story, Bennett? Very short. <laughs> told me that John Daly always looks down at his feet when he's introducing a contestant. I never noticed that. So watch with me tonight. Let's see if he does it tonight. Here he is, John Charles Daly. <laughs> My pleasure tonight, as usual, to introduce our disgustingly articulate master of ceremonies. He's just back from his favorite Tilton school up in New Hampshire, and he tells me that last night one of the townsfolk came staggering what in. What time does this show go on? <laughs> uh, may I finish, Henry? I was hoping you would. Uh, he's, uh, I will bother John and John Charles Bank. Well, actually, it's a good story, so I'll finish it. <laughs> if you don't mind, Henry, that is. No, I got all night. So the rest of the story is... I don't know as we have, though. The rest of the story is the man went home at 4 o'clock in the morning, and it, Bennett, you, you fixed me if I'm wrong. And his wife said, what are you doing coming home at this hour? And he says, for breakfast. Right? <laughs> but, well, we've got some interesting occupations. <laughs> And, uh... <laughs> good night, better. Henry Morgan joins me in saying good night, John. <laughs> I One, wish... two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I just wish he'd gone to Tilton School. He'd have been a much better man if he had. That's all I've got to say. And thanks to all of you for being with us on What's My Life. <laughs>